Hello everyone, it is Monday and I'm nearly home. I'm driving, I've been driving from Yorkshire back down to see my family for a few days and Ava's with me next to me here in the car. Nearly home, just driven past Highclere Castle, which if you don't know, is Downton Abbey. That's where they filmed Downton Abbey, um, which I've never actually been to the castle. I've never been inside, my family have, but I haven't. Um, weirdly, Downton Abbey is set up north in Yorkshire, where I live with Keegan, but it was filmed in Hampshire at a place called Highclere Castle. And uh, they're my two places. So anyway, I think I'm the only person that finds that interesting, but never mind. <laughs> yeah, I'm just spending a couple of days with my family and then I am going to London on Wednesday and then back up north on Thursday. It's a fleeting visit, but my granddad and my uncle are at my parents' house they're visiting. So that'll be nice to see them as well. Guys, we're at the car wash. Um, I've made it home. This is like two minutes from my house. And I thought, why not? The car needs a full valet. But I'm trying to save money. So I was like, I'll go for like a 10 pound car wash externally. And then I'll clean the inside of the car myself to save a bit of money. Um, also, because my uncle and granddad are here, my uncle is like car mad. And I know he'll be interested in having a look at my car because this will be the first time he's seen it. Like last time he saw me, I had my mini. I'm like mortified that he's gonna see it dirty. <laughs> Cause he'll be like, he keep, he's one of those people who keeps his car immaculate at all times. So yeah, I was like, at least if I get the outside done, then he, but he'll be mortified as well that I'm getting a car wash. Cause he thinks it's not good for the car paint. But anyway, Ava is absolutely terrified, which is why she's hopped onto my lap. She is normally, she's got the seat belt, but she jumped on my lap and was choking herself. So it took her off. What do you think? This isn't your first car wash though. A bit scary, just wait until these rollers. Okay. She thinks these things are toys, she keeps on sniffing, trying to go and sniff them. I am in London. It's a very rainy London, but guys, I'm having a fashion emergency. <laughs> I'm only here for the day and I'm traveling back home tonight because I've been invited to uh, the press night of a West End show. And um, I packed one of my nicest, most expensive t-shirts, you know, because it was like, it's not formal, but it's like, wear something nice. So I've worn this on the journey, got all sweaty in this, was about to change into my nice new top. And because it's been raining, my bag's gotten wet, the t-shirt's gotten wet, and there's some <laughs> blackcurrant sweets in my bag, like cough sweets, they taste like minty, and they have mixed with the water and gone onto my cream colored t-shirt. So I'm like, well, I can't wear that, and I don't want to wear this. So I need to go and find somewhere to buy a nice t-shirt. So fashion emergency, first world problem, let's go. I'm just inflating my tires. The tire pressure needed work. Yeah, they're all very, not very well inflated. Yeah, thank goodness dad has this device. He was gonna do it for me and then he forgot and has gone to work. So I, uh, I've had to muddle through myself, but it's one of those things where I've realized I do know how to do it. I just am relying on my parents to do it for me. <laughs> right guys, I have just, it's the day after my birthday by the way, hello. I've just got the delivery through and I opened up this box and it's from Selfridges, which is very fancy. I have no idea what this is, well I'm assuming, I'm assuming it's a birthday present from someone, but I don't know who it's from. So let's, I just thought let's open it on camera because I haven't vlogged any of my birthday really. I got a couple of clips, which I'll show you now. My mum and dad have just arrived and look what they've become bearing birthday treats. So look at this massive box, 64 Cadbury's and Oreo snacks. Can't wait to have some of those. My favorite chocolates, Gillian. Mm -hmm. What have we got here? Some, some salted caramel fudge, luxury fudge and champagne. GH Mum, thank you very much. You're very Actually, should we show them as well what you made me? <laughs> this was a special request because Mum was well, Mum wanted to bring like a cake, but I was like, well, it's not going to travel very well. Five hours, so she's made this fridge cake Malteser fridge cake, which is basically isn't it digestives, Maltesers, 
and like syrup and chocolate. Pretty well everything you said apart from malted milk biscuits instead of... Oh nice, that will be even nicer, I love malted milk. Oh, thank you, and dad's just coming in. Is he? He's unpacking. <laughs> we better give him a hand. So me, mum, dad and Keegan went out for dinner on Friday night. And then on Saturday, here we are playing darts. We went to a place called Flight Club, which I've done this sort of concept before, like digital darts. You play games on the screen above. It sort of gamifies darts, makes it a lot more fun. But I've never done it at Flight Club and it was so good. They had like live replays, so the whole thing sort of films you as you're going along, as you can see in this clip here, it sort of replayed Dad's shot, which was very funny because Dad uh, celebrated his win, but no one was really looking, which was really very, very funny. Um, we've got this Hello. big triumphant, what's it called? Triumphant trophy cocktail for four. Yeah, I don't know why we're drinking it. And then me, Keegan, Luke, and his partner Jack shared this triumphant trophy cocktail, which was a cocktail and a massive trophy. It was very, very cool. And we had some amazing food. We had a vegetarian platter and a meat eater's platter. There's me winning a game. I was quite good at Flight Club. I ended up winning. Then we went on to Shuffleboard next door at a place called Electric Shuffle. And I was not very good at this. It put you against people on the team. So uh, this is Keegan versus Mum. Not too bad. Ben's got the special one. He's lovely. Keeper of the pucks. Very good. Whoa. Very good. And then Keegan told them it was my birthday and they came out with a little brownie for me and everyone sung happy birthday. And then here's a clip from we were all in the hot tub and Oscar was very confused. He was like, what are you doing in there? And he really wanted to get in with us. And so all he did was dip his little paws in. It was very cute. So as well as all the human beings being here, we have all the dogs. Don't we? We've got Ava, who's mine, Crumpet, who's Jack and Luke's, Fen, who's Keegan's, and Oscar, who's the family dog, mum and dad's. So I'm gonna feed them all now. They're so cute. I mean, having four dogs full time would be chaos, but so cute. All the boys have finished their food. It's just Ava left eating. Because she takes ages to eat, don't you? You eat like a lady. Yeah, good girl. And then on the Sunday, once my family had left, Keegan had booked me a bottomless brunch in Leeds. And we just had a lovely time. We had flowing cocktails for an hour and a half. And then we had some lovely food. And then we enjoyed shuffleboarding so much the previous day that we actually went in again. It wasn't as much fun without my family there, I've got to say. But it was still very, very good. And I think we're addicted to shuffleboard now, guys. Oh, oh there we go. So this game is a hexagon one. Oh, yes. So basically that's all red, so it's all mine. You can play loads of different types of games, but this is my fave one. And there's Keegan's, and he's eaten into my territory. How have you got all of it? Oh my gosh, there's a glitch. This isn't... Okay, it's... Oh? It's glitching. It's glitching. It keeps coming. That's what it should be. Okay, good. I am winning at the moment. Pink's 11. For the first time. No. We're, this is our second day doing this, isn't it? Shame my family is not here, but... And shame they're not here to see me win. You're up Keegan's boy. living. You're up boy. Keegan's been winning the whole time, I'll be honest. But look at the scores now, 11-10 to me. The time's up, but the next game I have basically won. So I think that is 17-17, even though that says 16-17. It should be 17. It should, shouldn't it? Because look, that was the final game. We have one more puck to do, because they cut you off right on time. Thank you. But yeah, basically that was it. My family came over, we had an amazing time. It's just been really fun. But now, it's back to reality, so let's, let's open this up. Let's see, maybe this will say who it's from. It's from my management. Happy birthday, Joel, we hope you have the best day. We are so happy to be working with you. Can't wait to see what this year brings. Love your Bosch family. It's my, ta my management's called Bosch Talent. It's like those Russian dolls, I love it. The suspense. <laughs> oh, yes. It's a dip deep candle. I love this bougie parfumé. Tick, tick. These are amazing candles because actually I've never had my own. Keegan occasionally buys these ones, but they're so bougie. 
like they are absolutely incredible. I can't believe I've got me own. Thank you so much, guys. Oh, I love it. Hello, everyone. It's the 27th of September, two days after my birthday, and I have received a package. I know who this is from. This is from Lucy, because she told me it would be arriving today. It says that it contains food, which is just in time, guys, because today is a very dreary day. You might remember you saw a clip of me in this exact setup, because that was filmed today as well, um, saying in another video that it's the storms brewing, and today I'm just getting loads of videos edited. I'm trying to clear my memory cards, get as many videos edited as possible, and I was just making my way downstairs to grab a little snacky snack snack, and saw this. So... Oh, that's so cute. As I open it, there's a photo of me and Lucy <laughs> from when we went to Thorpe Park for my birthday. That was my 30th birthday. <laughs> look, at, look at our faces. Oh, what does it say? Dear Joel, happy birthday, Angel. I hope you had the most excellent day that's even more thrilling than a ride on stealth, which is this right. I miss you every day, my fellow homo. She means, because we used to call ourselves homos, which is funny because homo meaning gay, but short for homeowner, a homo, homeowner. So we used to call ourselves homo. Lucy isn't a homo, but she's a homo in terms of homeowner. Do you get it? Cool. I miss you every day. My fellow homo, dog dad, and platonic life partner. Looking forward to celebrating with you soon. Love you, Lucy and Adam, but mostly me. Oh, Lucy. I miss you every day too. Honestly, Every day something else crops up where I'm like, I really miss that about living with Lucy. And it honestly makes me really sad that I will probably never live with Lucy ever again. I mean, I kind of hope that we don't in a way because I want Lucy to be happy with Adam and me to be happy with Keegan. But it also makes me really sad that we're never going to live together ever again. At least I know that if on the in a worst case scenario, both of us, you know, <laughs> end up single again, we can just live together. Ava's been dying to come in. Is it because there's food or is it because you know this is from your mum? Come in then. But it's a treat for me, not you. Open for, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I love Cutter and Squidge. They are like a bakery in London. They only, I think they're, they're everywhere to be honest. Or maybe they're not, but anyway. The one I've been to is in Soho and they do the most amazing cakes. <gasps> Classic chocolate fudge brownie. My gosh. <sighs> Lucy knows me far too well. You know what? I'm going to try a piece now because I said I wanted a snack. And this has come at the exact right time. Mm. Mm -hmm. That is so nice. What does it say here? It's using the finest all-natural ingredients. No strange preservatives, nothing artificial, just pure chocolatey goodness. Thank you very much, Lucy. I miss you, honey. Wish you were here to share, share a piece of brownie with me. Just one, though. The rest are for me. <laughs> oh. Got my present from Lucy and it's chocolate brownie. Would you like a little bit? Are there any small pieces? Yeah. Just a small, just a small piece. Then it is going to nab it because he's a little thief when it comes to food, aren't you? Taste test. It's from Cutter and Squidge. You know I always point them out when we go to Soho. Ah, oh, my birthday week is over, guys. I feel very sad. You know when your birthday's over and you've milked it for a week and then you're like, okay, back to normality. That's today, because it was a week ago today that it was my birthday. But but honestly, I can say that this has been the happiest birthday I think I've ever had. Even though to some people that would be like, that would be a birthday where they'd had a massive celebration, a big surprise party or a big trip away or something. Mine was essentially, yeah, just the weekend before doing darts and shuffleboard. <laughs> and a hot tub and a takeaway with my family. And on the actual day of my birthday, me and Keegan actually just spent the whole day on the sofa watching TV. But it's just been the happiest birthday. I don't know why. All I can put it down to is A, I'm no longer concerned about aging at the moment. <laughs> I think most people in there, when they go from like 26, 27, they start going, oh my gosh, my 20s are gonna be over soon. They turn 30. And I think now that I've hit 30, and in fact, I'm 32, I'm like, actually, it's just like every year is actually getting better. Ooh, the dogs are playing beneath me. The, every year is just getting better. It's not getting worse. Yeah, and I think it's also the fact that I just had all the people I love with. Well, not all the people I love, but the, the most important people in my life uh, were with me. I had my family up here and obviously Keegan. And it was just so nice to go to sleep on Friday night and Saturday night knowing that everyone I cared about was in the same place, was in the house, 
which was also terrifying. I said to Keegan all night on the Friday night, I was like, oh my gosh, if this house burns down tonight, I hope I die along with everyone else because if I'm the only one to survive, <laughs> I'm going to be on my own. I'll be rich, but on my own. <laughs> but yeah, it was, it was just so nice to have everyone here. Everyone I think had been up here before to my house except Ben and except Luke's partner, Jack. Yeah, but it was just nice to have everyone here all together. And I just feel very content and very happy. Ava, can you calm down, please? Yeah, it's just been the loveliest birthday. But it has been sort of back to reality now. I'm going away in about two and a half weeks. I'm going on a little holiday, which will be very nice. But now's the time to crack on with work, get all the boring stuff done, all the work prepared before my holiday so that I can actually have some time to switch off. Whether or not I will is another matter. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed getting a little insight into my birthday. I actually didn't think I filmed that much for my birthday, but it turns out I did. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Again, if you want more videos, then please consider becoming a member. I post members only videos, exclusive videos just for members. They're ad free. I think it's really worth it. So consider signing up if you'd like. Also, don't forget very soon, it's going to be the start of November, which is Vlogvember. And I'm very excited to be doing Vlogvember again this year. It's a video every single day of November. So stay tuned for that. And I will see you very soon. Bye guys.